Welcome back to an episode of Let's Build Twitter. We're in episode 123. As always, if you guys do want access to that private repository, check out the link in the description down below. There's a video that walks through exactly how to do that. If you guys have noticed recently, we are starting to actually live record all of our episodes. So if you don't want to hang out while I'm recording, go ahead and check the description below for the streaming schedule. So let's hop into what we work on today. In this episode, we start working on the ability for users to create and attach a poll to a post. On the back end, we set the entity models to be stored on the database for the polls and each individual poll choice. We also set up the repositories for the poll and poll choices, wrapping up with setting up a simple poll service to be able to generate poll choices and polls and add a user's vote to a poll choice. As always, I'm Ethan O'Connor and let's hop straight into development. In this episode or in this live stream, we're going to go ahead and work on the um, poll. So whenever we click on poll, it's basically going to inject this guy here. And basically, I think what I want to work on is getting the back end working for adding a poll to a post. We're probably going to need what post it's attached to um i'm not sure how we're gonna do that part just because of the fact that we'll need like an id or something well i guess it wouldn't it wouldn't matter that much because it's gonna have the mini to one or whatever and then it can have up to four choices and it has the number of days so this will probably just basically convert to what's the last day that it could possibly be on but that being said i'm gonna move the poll to the side and today we're gonna open up eclipse i can't think and we're gonna go first i guess into our com and models and we're gonna make a new file and we're gonna make a new class i'm just gonna go ahead and call this poll it's been a minute so this will need to be uh whoops okay i guess we're gonna wait for this to build this will be at entity if i could type at entity and let's go ahead and import entity and then we're gonna want um what else do we want let me think we're gonna need uh maybe at table um so at table and this little name will be equal to pull all right and then we're going to need an id so we'll need and how are we going to do this? Because each poll is going to need a question and there can be multiple questions. So that's what I'm trying to think of because it can have one too many prompts. So we might need to also make like a poll question and kind of figure out how that's going to work, I guess. So let's go ahead. First, we'll say at ID and then we'll say at uh, generated value and I think it's like generation uh type or its strategy i think equal to generation type dot auto i don't know why my computer is being so slow today and this would be um private i think we've been using integers uh whole id let's go ahead and import these if i did these right and do, do, do is a strategy okay it looks good and at column and this is probably going to break a bunch of times it's fine at column will be um name will be poll underscore id all right and save that and if we wanted to yep now is it fine we're gonna reload well, let's go ahead and open up dbeaver really quick. So I'm going to hop into dbeaver and let's take a look at this. I don't know what's in my dbeaver anymore. Um, I just want to see a poll start popping up. So let's give this a second to open up. My computer's probably slow because it's trying to record. Hopefully it's not trying to record 4K, but I'm live streaming and recording at the same time. So hopefully all is well. So if Twitter DB is up, let's go into our data. It's a scheme of public tables and I don't... Oh, okay. I did create polls. Got a pull ID, except I named it wrong. This should be not pool, pull, just core ID. So now we need like an end date, I guess. So this will be a uh, private uh, date and date. And this will be uh, at what we'll add at column. And this one will have a name equal to end underscore date. Again, we'll calculate this. Um, and it has like, maybe we should say end time. I don't know if you can store a date time because date, although I think date does have everything in it. So we'll see, we'll see what happens here. The good thing is that at least with the way that we're doing this, we can on the fly refactor and we don't have to keep track of everything. Um, and then we're gonna need like poll questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and new and let's see, I'm gonna say new uh, class and I'm gonna say oh question 
and I'm just gonna make another entity at entity and at a uh, table name or table and this will be name equal to and this will be pull whoops pull underscore questions now here I don't know I guess we'll just do one to many slash many to one it should probably actually be many to many but it is what it is this should be not pull questions this should be pull choices so pull choice and then we'll call this pull choices and then we'll rename this file so we'll go ahead and refactor this file we'll call it pull choices or pull choice because that's really what it is so this one will also have a uh, private integer ID say uh, pull place ID and this will have at ID and at graded value the strategy equal to generation type dot auto let's go ahead and import all of this so we have the um we have that we'll have a private string whole text and this will be um at column and name will equal to pull underscore text so i guess it'd be choice text whole underscore choice underscore text so what is the text and we'll say at column name equal to and this name would be equal to full uh choice id these are optional i just like to keep it like this and then we need a list of actually be a set of user or do we have to say application user i think it might be application user i we'll have a set of application user and we'll call this votes and um this one i need to think about how we do this um because i always forget how to set this up on i don't ever remember it's one to many or many to one at one to many and then i'm not gonna set it up on the user i don't think i don't think i need to set this up on the user side and we need to set up all of the other stuff in here the gears and setters and everything but we'll deal with that later let's just go ahead and refresh this make sure that this is working all right so refresh so we have um whole choice and then we do have uh, basically a mini to one or a mini to many here so that's fine we have our choice id our text and it looks like it's gonna split this up that's fine it can split up however it wants so now what we need is inside of our poll we need like a at and this one will be at a mini to one i believe and this one we will do that uh bi-directional mapping although this is still backwards so this will still be at one to many actually one two many and then uh this will be a private list of whole choices and this will be called choices and then let's go ahead and import one to many in our list so inside here we're gonna have mapped by and this is going to be equal to the poll because then in here at the top we'll say private uh poll poll and then we'll say um this one has the at mini to one on it so then we'll map it backwards basically and we're going to say at join column and then inside the join column we need the name of the join column the name will be equal to full underscore id and then if we want to we could say knowable false so i think everything should be good let's check our db ver again so let's go ahead and refresh um so now if we go into our uh polls so our polls has the pull id and the end date and then there should be a poll choices 
the pool choices has the link to the pool id on it and also we have the votes so uh whatever the id is the pool choice id and the vote and everything gets mapped back i don't even want to see what the erd looks like for this it's probably disgusting uh let's see can we go into our public and let's just look at our, our erd it's probably horrible right now view diagram oh yeah look at that fun mess anyway let's stop getting distracted uh, so we're doing somewhat well here we got all this let's go ahead and set up our getters and setters and two string and stuff and hopefully fingers crossed um this is all good to go let's first go into poll and we could use Lombok, but I don't really like Lombok all that much. So if you guys are trying to follow along or not, you could always use Lombok. Let's just do our constructors using fields. So we'll do a no arg. I don't love the pull ID, whatever. So then we'll say source and constructor using fields because I'm lazy. I'll do an all arg. And then we'll do our source and we will do a generate getters and setters. And then we will do a generate to string. So let's see here. We go into our source, generate to string. And from here, we'll go ahead and do is we'll just do all of them. And that should be fine. And then we'll do the same thing, uh, pull choice. So we'll right click and we'll say source and generate constructor using fields. And I don't know why this one looks different. Oh, it's because I forgot to put private on it. So we'll add private. There we go. And then we'll also do a no R constructor. So we'll go in here and say source and generate using fields. Do a no arg. All right. And then we'll also go ahead and do getters and setters and all of those goodies. So go ahead, source and generate getters and setters. And source and generate our two string. All right. So that's good to go. Now, what I'm thinking is we're probably going to need a repository for both of these. So I'm going to go into our repositories and just make a new interface. And we'll go ahead and say pull repository. And we'll write and we'll go ahead and say extends JPA repository. And I believe I don't remember which way this goes. I think I think it's integer and but I might be I might have a backwards go ahead and swap those so pull and uh, integer all right and let's go ahead and import pull it's for everyone it wants to import first and I'll go through and figure out what we need we're definitely gonna need like a create we'll need some sort of crud what exactly we're gonna need we might just need very basic crud functionality for this and we also need to go ahead and map the the pull to the post as well so we'll have to deal with that uh but i'll deal with that in a second and then we'll make a new interface and this will be um whole choice repository and then we'll do the same thing extends apa repository and this will take in our whole choice and our integer all right so Go ahead and do this, maybe. There we go, and do this. All right, so now we gotta think about how we're gonna do this. I think technically it's gonna be a one-to-one -one mapping. One singular poll can map to one singular post, basically. So inside of our posts, let's deal with that real quick. So our models in our post, we'll say uh, private poll pull at one to one and then we'll do something similar again to one cascade type all so add join column so this would be pull id and then a reference would be um, reference name column would be pull underscore id i believe i don't know if it's going to break it's probably going to break everything we're going to have to debug it broke for a second but then it refreshed so maybe it worked we'll see here so i'm gonna go ahead and just throw pull pull and then go ahead and say this dot pull is equal to um pull and then we'll just go ahead and i'm gonna get rid of this two string right click and we're gonna go ahead and source and generate gears and setters because i'm lazy and go ahead and go ahead and generate a new two string so generate to string 
with everything in it so now this is probably going to cause some headaches later on down the road when we actually try to create these but let's go ahead and just try to take a look at our database here and our post and hopefully it has a poll id cool so that should theoretically point at the other thing that we need the actual poll itself so fingers crossed there all right so the steps of creating a poll let's go ahead and close out some things so i think this is all good now we need to make our poll service um so go into our services new file uh, make a class and we'll call this poll service and so we're gonna need a way uh what do we need here so we'll say at service really quick also we never marked the repository it doesn't really matter what do we need we need to be able to create a poll um before it gets attached before it gets attached to the post we need to be able to create all the poll um all of the poll what are they called options before they are attached to the post as well so we're gonna need our uh private and we're gonna need the private uh poll repository poll repo i don't know if i've been calling these poll repository or poll repo repository and i should probably say static private static or private final private final poll repository private final poll choice repository poll choice repository and we'll go ahead and import that and import this and we'll say public poll service and if we need some sort of service specifically for the choices we can do that but i think it'll be fine so we'll say poll service and we'll take in we'll say at auto wired and then we'll import this so our poll service will take in the poll repository uh poll repository and it'll take in the poll voice repository poll uh choice repository and we'll just say this dot poll repository I like to do it in the order repository maybe equal to poll repository did I spell it wrong nope this dot poll choice repository is equal to poll choice repository so I'm just going to kind of merge these into one. So I'm just going to say um, public poll choice generates choice. And then this is just going to take in a poll choice, right? And we'll just say PC. And all this is going to do is return our uh, poll repository dot save. We're going to save that PC. That's all it's going to do. And import pull choice. So all it's going to do is it's going to take in. This will be pull choice repository. Pull choice. Whoops. Did this wrong. Pull choice. Repository. Dot save. And we'll save PC. We'll just save that. And then we need to. So we need to create all the poll options or poll choices before we save them. And then we need to create a poll for each attached point. The public poll, uh, we'll say, we can say create, but I'm just gonna call it generate poll. Again, this will take in the poll. So we'll say poll, poll. And as long as, we'll have to get the IDs out of these. Um, but that shouldn't be an issue. So now we'll once again, just say return. We'll say return poll. This will be poll repository. And dot save. And we'll save that poll. Did it call it P? I call it poll. All right. So I don't think we're ever going to need to just grab a poll by itself because all the polls are, are by default going to be attached to a post so we can bring all of that data in at. We need to be able to place a vote. So place 
a vote on a poll, say public poll vote um, for choice, I guess, take in the poll. It maybe will take in the user. So application user user. I think in our poll choice, we have the inside of our poll choice. Let's go into our poll choice real quick. So poll choices, we have the ID of the poll. So we should be able to say poll choice, poll choice, choice in user ID or user or application user. So the first thing that we want to do is we need to update uh update the choice itself so then we can say like choice dot we'll say set of application user and we'll say um current votes is equal to choice dot and then we'll say get votes so get the application users and then what we'll do make sure it comes from util there we go now we have our application user um so now we're gonna say current votes dot add we're gonna add in that user so now we can go ahead and say choice dot set and we're gonna set the votes to our current votes and then we're gonna go ahead and say we need to definitely say pull choice repository and we'll say dot and we'll say i think we just have to say save again and we'll put in that choice and it should update and then what we can do is we can return a uh, pull repository dot find by id i believe we'll pass in choice dot get uh pull uh do, do, do although get poll dot get id oh wait we just we have the poll but it's probably not gonna be updated yet so we'll do this and let me guess dot uh get we'll say dot or out no that should be fine i'm not worried about it throwing an exception unfortunately that's gonna be it for today if you guys enjoyed please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button you'll know exactly when it comes out especially at that bell icon if you did enjoy the content today, please sure leave a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, it helps out with the algorithm all the same. And finally, if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. With that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.